Hadin balawai ke jingelang jengka kenhun menteri habai keran bekilal patai kubor. U menteri rang bak kejelau Konrad Kongkal Sangma ulang bak kesorkar jelak larai ban pendam no ikiniki art ligi projek penmi boarding kedai namar ke jengbam yuk pisah. Bat kador, kelanang kio, bagi company kili syempor parat ban pentera ikiniki projek. Ulang bak kesorkar kan sesyem ikilat kelinti ban wat gi wei patki company nilai si ki joh ikiniki company tang bak kendai no dekuru kong pembet kebet hemai namar kumbalong mentah ikiniki projek kemia hap syo. Bat kador kebala bu. Kesorkar jelah kelaya soy kesat sekular haga senam arhajar hanyo, haga bedai berke kenci stage 1, kat bah haga upper kree stage 1 bat 2, kelaya soy haga senam arhajar kat ar, arhajar kat lai. Is that though the projects were signed uh, at different levels and different stages, uh, there are two parts. Number one, while we go for private parties to take up the projects, um, you know, it's, it's quite uh, simple to uh, give it to them. Uh, when the power is generated, we don't get much of it. We only get 12% uh, as free power. The rest, if tomorrow the company comes and through the regulatory commission, if they say that you have to buy this power at 8 rupees, then we have no choice but to buy at 8 rupees. So the question arises whether how feasible it is for the state government. How feasible is it for the people of the state? How feasible is it for the government? Now today, uh, for us to produce and uh, go forward, Uh, in a project like, say, uh, you know, just to give another example, say Leshka, you know, thousands of crores of investments will have to be made uh, in order to produce another, you know, 100, 200 megawatts out there. Now, that kind of investment being made, say, in a solar mission, which we're doing at 500 megawatt, uh, 500 crores, which we're going to implement in the next five years, uh, are these going to be more beneficial? So uh, ultimately, one has to study the technical and financial viability of the project and see whether it's going to make sense for us to invest so much of money, especially again, keeping in mind that if we give it to private sector, there is no uh, commitment of giving us power. So we have to buy it from them at even a high rate. And number two, for us to take up the project on our own also, with uh, MECL having a large financial stress on it even today, would it be financially Uh, viable for us to do that in the long run, uh, that aspect then has to be seen. So the decision may sound very simple, but it has large implications uh, in the years to come and hence we have to be very careful. We feel that it is more important as of now today to efficiently run the system that is already existing. How do we ensure that the, the supply of power that we have, how do we rationalize it? How do we make sure that we are able to purchase it at a more better rate and sell at a higher rate whenever we can? And how to improve the overall efficiency in working of all the systems? Today, you'll be happy to know that all the units of the power supply today are actually functioning. All the units. You know, there was a time when, you know, stage two, three of Umiyam was not working or two, three of the turbines were not working anything. And we were having huge loss. Today, we are producing almost close to four million units of power Uh, a day. That's the highest we have uh, ever produced. So I think it's important to look at these efficiencies and overall efficiency in terms of our ATNC losses. So all these areas are important. So production is also important. But as I said, we need to be very careful uh, in where we commit our uh, financial commitments so that uh, in the long run, we're able to get maximum benefit for the people of the state, uh, keeping in mind the investments we have to make. So it's, it's, a, it's a very calculated decision to take. So Ka kenuhun menteri, ka laai jing menjur ban penkano yak engineering wing ha ketenat pulit jong kejela. Kenang baga tenat pulit kan lak mencim kiai dalah dia ke jing donkam ha kebedai, bat kinu kinu ke jing tay, bat barush kata ketenat pulit ke haban buat ikan rukam terikam, ke basim por bahatang manle iki kam maramot, ni wat tang ban senai ke jakalit bar. Ukon rat kongkal sang ma uloong, bada ke jing don jong ke engineering wing kan selek hino iki kam, ke ban senai ni ban baramot ha ketenat pulit. Uh, an engineering wing was required because uh, in the absence of an engineering wing, the department would have to follow different procedures which are very time consuming and involve different agencies to do small things like even repair of a bathroom or repair of a thana or repair of, repair of a barak. Uh, so all these kind of uh, activities that are there uh, will now be done by the engineering wing. And as you are aware, last year we had last to last year we had come up with the decision to <coughs> sanction and keep uh, certain funds at the discretion of the SP and the DC of every district, 
so that they can use that money uh, for immediate repair work at the district level uh, so that proper infrastructure can be provided for policing. Uh, and uh, this decision today will allow that decision to be implemented in a, in a better manner and ensure that uh, whatever basic requirements that the police personnel need uh, at the district and the grassroots level, those uh, requirements can be met. Ha gawai pergaliang ka kunhun menteri kala ajing menjor bantha wega state water informatics center SWIC banlu mi gijing tip ke bedai bat ki om ki wa ki ba ha kejela u menteri rangba ulong ba ke SWIC kanlu mi gijing tip ki om ki wa ha kejela ki ba kentop ek um slap ka jing reben ko um ki wa ki jaka ki ba mi ki telong um ki sing yar bat kan sampat gini gijing tip ki tenat sarkar kum ka PHE ka tenat soil ka tenat garap karyang ka disaster management bat ki wiki wai Ulong bagani ke dairu shibanta jong ke jingbatha jong ke tanat jal shakti jong ke sarkar padeng. Basically this is a part of uh, the larger picture which is coming from state government as well as from central government. Water mission from our side is a uh, yes a water policy that was created at the large. So these agencies will actually help us to be able to keep the data and information with us to be utilized in the correct manner for respective departments. So tomorrow uh Uh, this is the center that is going to tell us that every year we are seeing a dip in uh, say the uh, water supply or the um, the catchment areas in say uh, you know for the for the water shillong water supply scheme it is this center that is going to collect the data every year using satellites using you know uh, uh, human human manpower at the grassroots level using different technologies drones too then survey and keep this data so this is a information database of analyzing recording the water movement in the state from now on to the coming years to allow us then to make decisions on how we need to adjust based on climate change and other things on how we need to adjust for farming activities for drinking activities or even flood activities that are there so that's the basic principle U Menteri Rangba Uletho ba ka kanun menteri kala rai ban ra ru ya lai tali ki ordinance sagdor jong ka bill ke bakan thop ban pendu no e karajat lal university act arajar khatway ka meglaya goods and services tax act arajar ka nyo bat ya ka meglaya medical council amendment bill arajar ar pulai ya gini ki bill an ra ak dor bar san rai jo ki dor bar thau an ke jelak ban sedang na do ka khat san tarik men ta unai lur those ordinances need to be regularized in the uh, house uh, and those ordinances were brought today um, in terms of an amended bill or uh, i mean or a bill and uh, that will be put up in the assembly so the first was the repeal of the rajat lal university act 2011 if you recall we had repealed this through an ordinance second it was the amendment of meghalaya goods and service tax 2017 uh, these are amendments that are uh, mandated in terms of the um GST council the decisions that have been taken by GST council uh, are then implemented by the state governments and every state government then has to amend the GST uh, act of the state as per the amendments made by the GST council third was the amendment uh, bill for the Meghalaya medical council amendment bill 2023 this again was an ordinance if you recall and uh, if you go back into your notes you will see the reasons why there were some changes nomenclature uh, changes were there uh, and those have been made and the ordinance was passed uh, a few weeks back <clears throat> and that now again is being regularized